Lady and gentlemen, boys and girl, welcome to the BDMMA channel where we watch and learn. But first, Sensei Boss Ruby. And then from here, since I step very close, you don't want to stand on the ball of your foot, you want to turn on the heel. And it gives you a little bit space to bring that leg up there, see, because you're standing so close to it. So, I so recently, Song Yidong faced off with Julio Arce down by the schoolyard, or at... Uh, Maybe it was in Vegas. And it was open stance meeting orthodox or a right-handed fighter, left leading, versus a southpaw right-hand leading. That's the open stance or opposing stance or opposite stance. Usually it comes down to who wins the lead hand, lead foot game as far as striking is concerned. In the open stance, um, I suggest looking into uh, Trevor Whitman's advice as well, uh, especially when it comes to the feet. He's got some. He's got some really profound things to say. Um, that'll help you a, a ton. I'm gonna try to help you with the reading part of things, as far as ja the jab. The jabbing southpaw tends to be favored over the jabbing orthodox fighter, because they see more orthodox fighters than orthodox do southpaw. There's just more righties in the world than there are lefties. It's as simple as that. So let's look at how he exploited what is a pretty perfect technical jab from Arce in my opinion. If you see here, he's got his left hand, you know, pinned to his ear, kind of what we call answering the phone. The footwork is right, his, his distance of his legs is right. Note that any note that with anything behind the jab, the left hand drops throughout the fight. This is the second round by the way. So the first round's already happened. It was pretty close. See his left hand right there dropping a tad. I slow it down here again. And you can see a dog's eyes light up, kind of Christmas trees right there, just like, oh, I, I see something, but his feet aren't in position to do much about it. So, step one is throw power hand to deter meaningless shafts. This doesn't have to land, and again, this is uh, this is of the Trevor Whitman school of power hand um, approach to the open stance. Step two, sell a power leg your power leg or rear leg as a body kick or a knee which we kind of just saw with Superbon um, versus Petrosian but not yet he's just looking right right here he's just he's making a read there's a read right there okay tap tap touch misses on that right there he was trying it what he was trying to do was pat down carry the jab down into the right hand so again making a read on it but he doesn't see an opening until he does and he closes the distance and hurt him with that right hand first and then the head kick second and he hit it like he was hiding the body kick so essentially what he did is the first time he caught him with one of those two four hybrids where you kind of throw your arm out and turn your hip at the last second as though you were throwing across and he does this beautiful 10 into really a, a, a quick sit too but he doesn't even get his foot to the ground to sit on that punch just a beautiful setup it was it was a, a matter of timing meets accuracy meets speed reading essentially and beautifully done uh, i think you don't know, came into this fight like thir 13th i'm gonna mention that prior he's he's approaching the top 10 in his division he's 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 a pretty interesting striker and obviously uh quite the improv artist and of course the takeaway if there is one it's it's kind of how to use your right hand in the open stance make a read and when someone's not pulling a hand back in time that's that's kind of a common one to look for so and I always want you to learn something. Hopefully you learned uh, one thing at the very least here. Uh, really nice read by Yadong. And my uh, link to my Patreon will be below. Thanks for tuning in.